Is that on? Yes, it is. You can be on a three. Bro, it's fucking hot as shit upstairs. <laughs> it's more comfortable than it used to be. We are here to watch The Legend of Dragon Ball. My wife has never seen a Dragon Balls on your face, but I'm gonna try. Oh my god. <laughs> A couple people <laughs> requested this. Quite a Need few people. I don't know about you. On their face. Stop. <laughs> a couple people requested this video on uh, my channel, uh, so I know on your channel. Can you request? Can you react? Can you react? Can you react? Actually, no, because I've been suspended. So <laughs> I haven't been posting videos, and nobody remembers I make content anymore. So here we go. It's been hell getting back on track. You're gonna see a bunch of random hodgepodge of things. You know, it's more of my face. What about my face? This my wife's so face is blurred. No reason for <laughs> you to look at that. But yeah, let's get started. Do you know anything about this? No, people just said that I didn't have to know anything about Dragon Ball to watch it. So then I wanted to watch okay, it. Okay, Dragon Ball, space shuttle thing that crashed on her. A little bit more tragic. He lives by himself for a while. It's gigantic fish. Joins a martial arts tournament with a pervy old man. Little orange suits. Krillin's the bald guy with the dots on the middle. Right. I feel like I've got enough of a background. You gotta put this uh, disclaimer up so Toei doesn't sue you. A grand love letter. That's cute. I'm ready. <laughs> that is sick. My son. Stay strong. Your crown is here, and your kingdom awaits your return. All right. Okay. Looks like it's gonna be so just how good. stupid yeah, can you be? <laughs> Have we ever met? <laughs> Have we ever met? <laughs> if you don't mind, uh, can you just tell me what I forgot so I can remember? Yeah. That's... Unbelievable! And did you forget the promise you made me as well? <sighs> you promised to marry me, Goku! The vibes. Now well, his life's over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is that all you can say for yourself? <laughs> I. Uh... You never just have a piece of turn. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Already? Kakarot! <laughs> there it is. Oh wow, the classic ring, man. This is, yeah, this is classic. Over 9,000? No. Barely? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it breaks. That happens every time. Readers are useless. That's cute. That king the green of light. The gold you fashion. It's not every day that a king leaves his throne. Yeah. But for you, I make a royal exception. <laughs> okay. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Okay, I was very confused because <sighs> Broly's my fucking guy! I assumed, uh huh. I assumed this was Vegeta. Uh-huh. So I was very confused when Vegeta popped out. Right. That's Broly. Bro, him and Kakarot got beef. Why? Throw the ham chops. We're gonna do it. Look at this. Look at this. Don't worry about it. Uh huh. He does what he wants. 
Anytime you see the green light, you know. The Most underrated. All my life, I've trained for this one moment. God, I saw the legend. Open for the pride of the Saiyans, for my family, and yes, even you, Kakarot. Kakarot is Saiyan cool. legend, hear me! Today, a god falls. Why does he have a tail? Originally, they had tails. I was going to get into that in the breakdown. Originally, they had tails in the way the Saiyans conquered worlds. We'll go over this just real quick. They would drop Saiyans off on planets right before the full moon. They would all turn into giant apes and just wreck shit. Oh. Sick. Dust. Yep. Ashes to the wind. Let's get it! Like Super Saiyan 1 or 2. <laughs> I mean, this is like, this is very classic fighting style. This is great. Oh! You thought! Oh! You thought! Oh, my no. boy! <laughs> None of that! Way to knock out of Super Saiyan. Oh! Okay, we're going. Run it, 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 run it. Run it. Yeah, I thought that was enough. I don't care about that. How you gonna ask me for help? Girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get out the way. Sorry, it ain't your show. Well, this isn't gonna go well. Maybe you should. I'm rooting for Broly. Sorry. You might make this case. This clouds and all this stuff is from the best art. Okay. But this is different. That was very painful. This is different. Not very sun Goku. You know? I remember. Bitch! It's Chi Chi, right? Kakarot. Stop calling me that. That name is your birthright. For you, just like I, are the legacy of a proud race of golden warriors. We are the keepers of the primal light. Your light is out of control and must be refined to be useful. Your days under the sun are numbered, Kakarot. So marry that woman while you still have the chance. What is that supposed to and mean? Come with me. We have to prepare. Yeah. For what? 
What do you think? War. Yeah, man, this is what y'all do. Very nice. Man, that is the reimagined movie. Only if you were born a decade earlier, we could have avoided years of pain and suffering. God, that's how we did it. But the GP and the movie happened after we became and they ran her face to me. They ran out of ways to reimagine the show. So they wanted to bring back the half life of the They wanted to bring back that aspect of the you know, like, monkey and you know, all that kind of how that kind of played into the original film that you know, like that, you know? Yeah. And they just did it in the way that this was not satisfying. This right here was very satisfying. So this is not what the show was like? Not, re- kind of, but not really, no. Kind of, but not really. If the, the show was like this, I would watch it. <laughs> After credits. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's classic. about you get it wow broly probably says kakarot there was a count there's actually a video count of it online after the movie came out and it was you know ridiculously high yeah and it became a huge meme they're like do things of nothing else has no talking <laughs> lines just a big b see that's what i'm talking about you get it wow broly probably says kakarot there was a count there's actually a video count of it online after the movie came out and it was, you know, ridiculously high. Yeah. And it became a huge meme. They're like, do things of nothing else, has no talking <laughs> lines, just a big brute. Um, I mm-hmm. really liked this. And this is coming from, I know next to nothing about Dragon Ball, okay? Mm-hmm. Everything that I know from Dragon Ball has come from memes and a couple of internet videos. So I don't yeah. know. But conceptually, I really liked this. Right. I was able to completely follow the storyline. Like, clearly, homie has beef. I just want to say they low key did Broly dirty in this because homie was whooping ass, okay? Like all the power ups and shit that Vegeta and Goku were doing couldn't touch him. They had to team up. And that's my least favorite okay. victory okay. for protagonists is when they team up and then they're like, yeah, we won. But like, did you really? Did you really? Because he had you dead to rights. So this is a great encapsulation of like how the feeling of the fight should be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Enemy shows up. You're doing something completely different. It's light. It's cool. We're chilling. Right. He's meeting his fiance. Not ready to... Somebody shows up with the beef. I'm here to smurder people. Yes. Innocent bystanders get killed. Everybody's like, what the fuck? And then they get taken aback. Somebody gets slumped and injured right off the bat. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of how they use to set up the tone. Like, homie showed up injured. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Son Goku is the guy. Yeah. So if he's already injured at the start, we're we're already starting behind the eight ball here. Yeah. And this is in Dragon Ball. So this, he hasn't even had like all the training and all that like refining of his energy, which is like where you really find out what the show is made of, like what the soul of the creator is after everybody kind of peaks, if you will. Yeah. You know, but this was a great way to reimagine the characters' relationships with each other. But still feel like, like, if you would have seen this, you might as well think that's exactly how everybody interacts in every episode. I thought this was great. I was very into, I was um, invested in the story from the beginning. I think the animation, top notch. The voice acting, top notch. Top notch? Okay. I must be hungry. Um, But I just, I liked it. Next time you do it, okay, add in at least 20 more minutes of filler. Okay. (laughs) Let them power up a little bit more. But everybody's got to like when Vegeta does the final flash, which is like his lesser Kamehameha wave. Mm-hmm. It, like it's not even good as a Gatling gun, I think. But anyways, he's charged with the final flash and Broly is the kind of dude who's like, I'm not waiting for that. Yeah, I'm not going to let you do that shit. What the fuck is that about? Yeah. You think I'm going to fucking sit here and wait? They had to knock Broly into a whole other, through two or three walls before he got a chance to really power up like a yeah. good blast for the, you know, classic showdown of beams. Beam colors, which green always wins in that. I don't know how the fuck you end up losing. <laughs> well, because there was a purple, a neon purple that came out. Yeah, from like them combining their yeah. strength. A team up Kamehameha wave, classic. 
I I really liked it. I had a great time with this. More of this, please. And the voice acting with Command Man was so good, too. Yeah, they did great. Damn. All right, let's hear his uh, speech at the end. Oh, we got a little breakdown. Let's, yeah. let's, I like a little BTS. Hi, I'm Nasser Basha, and I'm the creator of Legend of Dragon Ball Tale. He's so soft-spoken. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot I'd like to say, but I'll save most of it for another time. Okay. First, I'd like to say thank you to each of you for taking the time to watch this film. Sure. Your attention is greatly appreciated. I don't have it, but it's As fine. well, I'd like to give a huge and sincere thank you to my entire team who helped me bring this film to life. There's more. Their work is supremely skillful. I've gone ahead and dropped links to their socials in the YouTube oh, description of this video. So please do take the time and check out all their work and share it with your friends. Sure. And lastly, it goes without saying, but... Animation takes a lot of time and energy and focus and stamina and budget and time. Uh, we had all that stuff except the budget. My entire team did this out of the sheer enthusiasm for Dragon Ball Z and the pro project itself. Holy wow. If this film was something that you really loved and you're excited to see more of my other work and animations, please consider contributing to my Patreon. Do Your patronage shit. will be deeply appreciated. And who knows, maybe the next one won't take four years. <laughs> Four years and sounds about right, actually. Yeah. I was gonna, yeah that, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for your time, attention, and support. My planet needs me. <laughs> love it. What a fucking nerd. I love uh, it. Yeah, I love it. That was great. <laughs> Yeah, man. Excellent. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, guys. When you see, we all know we're used to it here in uh, in this in this community. We've been here for years, man. These projects take a long time, a lot of dedication. They're gonna have all the support from, of course, like the reactor community. You know, we love stuff like this. So, you know, make sure you guys also stop by, leave a like on this video. We'll make sure to do the same. And uh, I'm glad my wife even got to enjoy one. I had a great time. This yeah. is fantastic. This is going to convince my wife to watch Dragon Ball Z stuff in the I future. I don't think I'm so. And I'm happy about it. Yay me. I'll see y'all around. Peace. Turn me off in three, two.